guys, Christine here, coming to you today with a Chrome Technique. So it's what I've got on my other two fingers here. It's just the horizontal, or the um, cross your nail uh, Chrome Technique. Um, so I do have one free nail here. I was doing a different demo and I thought I would just come on and show you guys how to do it from start to finish. I have already prepped my nail. Don't mind my cuticles right now. I do have cuticle cream that I'm, or cuticle serum that I'm going to be putting on afterwards. Um, so base color is Eye to My Soul. Where are we here? Eye to My Soul. It is a beautiful blue green. Uh, like I said, I have already prepped my nail with uh, shaping, with the white side of my uh, gel moment file and also buffing my nail with the gray side of the file. So I'm just going to show you start to finish here. Uh, application of your base color. So whatever base color you want. Remember thin coats, mind the gap. So not right up to your cuticle. And cap the tip. Okay, this is going to give you a longer lasting manicure. I have too much polish on my, there we go, brush. There we go. Okay. Uh, now I do have the deluxe lamp, so I will be just shooting this under the lamp in two seconds. I did get a little bit on my skin, so I'm just going to take that off before I cure. I don't want it to cure to my skin. So coat number one going under the lamp for 45 seconds. The chromes are super easy. And I'll just show you this hand for the meantime. Again, don't mind my cuticles. I am putting the cuticle serum on after I am finished here. Um, I am gonna do two coats of the Eye to My Soul to give me a good base. And then I'll go in and show you the technique I have for doing the diagonal uh, chrome technique. This would also work with other polish colors as well if you wanted to do a multi-dimensional um, polish application. I've got about 10 seconds left here on my lamp. All right, just about done. Perfect. Okay, so sorry. coat number two going on. I did only do two coats on the other nails so that is all I should need and I do cap the tip with every coat that'll just make it that much stronger. Okay cap the tip and I always oopsies because capping the tip can sometimes leave an uneven amount at the tip of your nail. I always just do another brush over there. Okay. So that's all I should need of the eye to my soul. There we go. I did get a little bit on my skin. So again, just take that off before you cure. All right, done. Back under the lamp, 45 seconds. I gotta say, I love the deluxe lamp just for the for the speed that it does my nails. Okay, what I'm going to do as soon as this is done is take just regular scotch tape, just a small piece, and put it diagonally across my nail. You can do as little or as much uh, diag coverage as you want, um, whatever, whatever look you're going for. So I'm going to do about half and half for this demonstration. Again, totally up to you as to what you're going for in your manicure. All right, and that's done. There we have it. Okay, so I'm just going to take my piece of tape, figure out where I want it. That's about to where I want it. And then you're just going to lay it down, taking out any bubbles there are and sort of tucking it into your cuticle area there. Okay, making sure there are no bubbles along the edge. 
Then what I've got today is my Starlight Chrome, and I just take the little bit that's in the, the lid, okay? You don't need to dip your, you don't need to dip your applicator into the pot because you're gonna get way too much chrome that way. I even have too much in the lid right now because you need very, very little to make this work. So I'll just do a little dip. You can see how little I have. And then you're just going to go in circular motions. You want to get it all the way down to the end of the cuticle there, all the way around the edges, just circular motions. And you can see how easy that is. Okay, I'm going to just do another little dip. And I want a really, really good mirror finish here. Okay, so that's done. Take your tape off. There we go. And look at how crisp that edge is. That is fantastic. Okay. Then what you're going to do, I'm just going to get this lid out of the way so I don't knock it and spill my chrome all over the place. Okay. I'm going to take my Clearly Frisky and just do a quick top coat of that to ensure my chrome doesn't come off. Okay, quick top coat. I'm gonna cap this as well, okay? Just a quick cap. And I'm still minding the gap at my cuticle. You don't want clear polish all over your cuticles, okay? There you have it. I'm gonna cure it under my lamp. 45 seconds. Okay, then I'm going to, once that's all finished, my hands have kind of been through the ringer today. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take my regenerating cuticle serum and just do my cuticles, uh, let it sit for about five minutes, and then I rub it in. It feels absolutely amazing. This is going to be a game changer for the winter time, ladies. Um, I do have a contest on or a giveaway on right now. First person to order Fortify, which is the nail uh, hardening or nail fortifying product uh, from the nail spa, as well as the regenerating cuticle serum. First person to buy both products or order both products. Um, I'm going to send you a package of uh, remover pads for free because the Fortify best comes off with the pads as opposed to the flake off. Um, so I wanna make sure that you are fully prepped there. So there's my nail all finished, completely dry. I'm gonna take my cuticle serum. I'm not gonna make you guys wait the five minutes. So just take it and smear it on. You don't have to worry about being gentle with it and you can take it down. My fingertips get pretty dry. So there you have it, okay? So all finished there. Like I said, I typically wait about five minutes for that to soak in a little bit, and then I just do a little rub in like that, okay? So all done, we are good to go, and you've got your beautiful nails. All right, if there's any other tutorials you guys wanna see, just let me know, and I will try my best to get them on here. Thanks guys, have a great day.